हेलो एवरीवन वेरी वॉम वेलकम एवरीवन टू आईटीएलएस एकेडमी आवर टू डेज लेक्चर इज फैक्ट्री एंड हॉस्पिटल हाइजीन वी विल सी एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाइजीन प्रैक्टिसेस एंड आल्सो वी विल सी गुड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रैक्टिस एज अवर टॉपिक इज फैक्ट्री and hospital hygiene and good manufacturing practice so let's start first of all we will see introduction of hygiene the point is the quality of a pharmaceutical product whether manufactured in industry or in a hospital can not be ensured solely by examining in detail a small number of units taken from a complete batch definition before a definition in the introduction you can see if that we we have seen that uh, quality cannot be ensured by examining a small number of units while for instance a low level or uneven distribution of microbial contamination may not be detected by conventional methods of sampling and sterile testing now we will see definitions the point is several terms used in industrial and hospital production must be defined for an understanding of this chapter so now we will see all important definitions that we use that we are going to use in this topic before going to definitions let's see what are general importance of hygiene to human life because this is also important to know each and everything about hygiene so let's uh, see avoid smelling bad smell this is a, a, an importance of hygiene next importance is keeping us away from different kind of diseases next importance of hygiene that it prevents food poisoning and one more importance of hygiene to human life is importance is prevent physical environmental contamination so now here comes our definitions we will see all the definitions all the terms in detail what they exactly mean so the uh, manufacture manufacture is the complete cycle of production of a medical product this cycle includes the acquisition of all raw materials their processing into a final product 
एंड पैकेजिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दीज आर मेन स्टेप्स इन दिस साइकिल लेट सी फर्स्ट वन इज एक्शन next one is processing and the third one uh, step is packaging and distribution these steps of this cycle are uh, not in this slide that's why i have written from separately you can uh, consider these three steps of cycle of production of medical products also you can take screenshots if you want because i will erase all these next is quality assurance this term refers to the sum total of the arrangements made to ensure that the final product is of the quality required for its intended purpose this quality assurance consists of good manufacturing practice plus factors such as original product design and development another term is good manufacturing practice in short gmp good manufacturing practice comprises that part of quality assurance which is aimed at ensuring that a product is consistently manufactured to a quality appropriate to its intended use gmp requires that first the manufacturing process is fully defined before it is commenced and second the necessary facilities are provided in practice this means that personnel must be adequately trained suitable premises and equipment employed correct materials used approved procedures adopted suitable storage and transport facilities available and appropriate records are made next term is quality control quality control refers to that part of gmp that is good manufacturing practices which ensures that first at each stage of manufacture the necessary tests are made and second the product is not released until it has passed these tests next term is in process control this comprises any test on a product the environment or the equipment that is made during the manufacturing process so all the definitions that are essential for this chapter we have uh, studied let's see next is control of microbial contamination during manufacture we will see general aspects
a pharmaceutical product may become contaminated by various means and at different points during the course of manufacture there are several important ways in which this risk can be minimized in both industrial and hospital production environmental cleanliness and hygiene first point microorganisms may be transferred to a product from working surfaces fixtures and equipments in this context pooled stagnant water is a frequent source of contamination for easy cleaning walls and ceilings should have an impervious and washable surface and floors should be made of impervious materials free from cracks and open joints where microorganisms could be factory and harbored next point all services including pipelines light fittings and ventilation points should be sited so that inaccessible risks are avoided these are requisites all equipment involved in the manufacturing process should be easy to dismantle and clean it should be inspected for cleanliness before use fall out of dust and droplet borne microorganisms from the atmosphere is an obvious avenue whereby contamination of products may occur therefore clean air is a prerequisite during manufacturing process microorganisms may thrive in certain liquid preparations and in creams and ointments next point the manufacture of such products should thus as far as possible be in a closed system this serves a dual purpose in that it protects the product not only against airborne microbial contamination but also against evaporative loss next point potentially harmful organisms could be transferred to a product by its direct contact with personnel consequently operatives should be free from con- communicable disease and should have no open lesions on the exposed body surfaces
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट डायरेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन द मेटीरियल्स एंड द ऑपरेटिव हैंड मस्ट बी एवॉइडेड वेयर नेसेसरी ग्लव्स शुड बी वॉर्न here you can see hygiene improvement first is access to handwear next is hygiene promotion and third one is enabling environments access to hardware community water system sanitation facilities and household level technologies and materials are included in access to hardware if we talk about hygiene promotion behavioral social change must have community mobilization social marketing school program and community participation in problem identification and solution next one enabling environments this includes policy improvement community organization financing and recovery public private public and private partnership institutional strengthening quality of starting materials first point raw materials including water supplies are an important source of microorganisms in the manufacturing area and these can lead to the contamination of both the environment and the final product if stable then natural products with a high microbial count may undergo sterilization before use next point water for manufacturing may be potable means water water purified by ion exchange or reverse osmosis or distillation or water suitable for injection purpose although pyrogens are not volatile they are not removed by ordinary distillation since some will be carried over mechanically into the distilled with the entertainment or spray next point water prepared in this manner can be used immediately for the preparation of this is continue from here for the preparation of injections provided that these are sterilized within 4 hours of water collection alternatively the water can be kept for longer periods at a temperature above 65 degree centigrade this is usually 80 degree centigrade to prevent bacterial growth with consequent pyrogen production ultraviolet irradiation may be useful in reducing the bacterial content but it is not to be regarded as a sterilizing agent
process design the manufacturing process must be fully defined and capable of yielding with the facilities available a product that is microbiologically acceptable and conforms to its specifications processes and procedures should be subject to frequent reappraisal and should be reevaluated when any significant changes are made in the equipment or materials used quality control and documentation first point selection of starting materials with a low microbial content aids in the control of contamination levels in the environment and the final product further microbiological quality control covers the validation of cleaning and disinfecting procedures and the monitoring of the production environment by microbial counts next point a system of documentation should exist such that the history of each batch of the product including details of the starting materials packaging materials and intermediate bulk and finished products may be determined distribution records must be kept this information is of paramount importance and should a defective batch need to be recalled packaging storage and transport the point is even when a product has been prepared under stringent conditions such as those outlined above like in our previous slide contamination could still arise during storage and transport for this reason the packaging used and also the conditions employed during storage and transportation should be such as to minimize or preferably prevent deterioration or contamination manufacture of sterile products the point is for manufacturing purposes an important distinction exist between a sterile product which is terminally sterilized and one which is not in general such a product 
must be prepared in a clean area. Next point. Vaccines consisting of dead microorganisms, microbial extracts or inactivated viruses may be filled in the same premises such as other sterile medicinal products. The complete less uh, the completeness of inactivation or killing or removal of live organisms must be proven before processing. Non-sterile products should not be processed in the same areas as sterile products. So thank you guys for watching this session. Follow ITLS Academy on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, WhatsApp and LinkedIn that is a major job providing platform of India. For latest videos and updates subscribe ITLS Academy on YouTube. For easy access of all informations of ITLS Academy you can get app of ITLS Academy from Google Play Store. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe ITLS Academy. For any help or query you can reach us our helpline number 7080833450. You can also reach us on our website www.itlsacademy.com. Thank you very much again for watching this session.